Hello and welcome to Eurovision 365. My name is Podrick and I'm a huge fan from Ireland, Northern Ireland. If you're new to the channel or if you are a returning viewer, it's great to see you here as your support, your likes, your comments and subscriptions to the channel means the world to me. Of course, this is a relatively new channel, so every little subscribe helps. So uh, thanks for that. Anyway, enough about that. So before we have that national final later on tonight, I thought what better time than now than to react to the songs that are taking part. And at the end of this, I will give my first place to one of these songs taking part. And I really welcome your comments as well. But anyway, let's go. Shall we do this? Yeah, let's do this. So it's a rock song, I'm going to say. Rock, soft rock maybe. Very hard to tell what would be going on. It's just a still here. Okay, so this is rocking. Yeah, definitely a rock song, right? I'm not sure how big Clardus are in Ukraine, but I think in pretty much every national final out there right now, there's at least one rock song, and that's good, of course. It's snowing, it's cold. There's a phone off the hook. Moody. What about the demons in your head? So again, maybe a mental health type song? Is this building to something? Oh, what a great high note there. Yes. Well, let's do the thing. This is quite a dark song. Yeah, definitely a dark song. That's also welcome at Eurovision. Of course it is. Oh, I like the way that the harmonies come in there. It is vibe going on here. Yeah, it is for sure. Well, she's, she's not too impressed by this so far, is she? Do you know what I'm going to say this? I think this is quite groovy. You know, bands like The Roop have really enlivened this kind of genre at Eurovision in the 80s. From that song from 2004, for Sweden. Yeah. What do you think of this song? Are you from Ukraine? Is that your favorite? So a ballad, maybe an anthemic type song. Hear my words. It's like a plea, I think. Will this song stand out at Eurovision? Okay, it's building a little bit. Yeah, it's certainly got a message to be told. So now we've got a little bit more accompaniment coming in. Strings. So here is Kalush Orchestra, Stefania. Folk. Folk ethnic sound, I would say, for this one. I think this is maybe her. I wasn't expecting this. 
It's a real mix of songs taking part at Fed Beer this year, isn't there? Wow. Do you know what? The thing is, I like the chorus. I've just heard this for the first time, obviously. I like the chorus. But the verse is letting it down for me somewhat. That's just what I think, but what do you think? I want to know too. Oh yeah, reminds me of 2021 now with this here. Okay, I take that back. I, I quite like this. It's really cool. It's maybe a little bit repetitive, perhaps. But we'll see where it goes. Really see me dance at Euroclub if there is one. Even worse than this. There you are. Oh, that's more like it. Oh, I quite like this, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not gonna lay. Quite like it. So, if you've watched my channel a little bit, you know I've already reacted to this one, so I, this isn't my first time hearing this one. Just to be honest, this is my second time hearing it. And you know my rating to that song. If you don't, check out the video. Oh, this is brilliant. This is so brilliant. This is what you call having three minutes and putting everything <laughs> into three minutes. See what I mean? The staging's very good, very good. And I wonder would they do this actually on stage? Well, we'll find out later, won't we? I love the way they change language again. Like I said on my reaction video, this is so much fun, isn't it? It's kind of like a rock going on now. Like I say, having three minutes and putting everything into it. I've just noticed myself as well. This is my sixth song now that I'm reacting to. And this is the most energized I've been doing this. I think that says a lot, maybe. Maybe it's just me. Song number seven here. Can I get a reggae sound to it? I love his little badge, the lovely flag of Ukraine. So this is what you call the laid back entry. Kind of summery, chilled. Finger clicking. Again, of course, in Ukrainian, which is great. It's all this kind of rappy singing going on in this national final. Kind of, you can imagine them doing some kind of dance, can't you? Yeah. Here he is. Not bad. The final of these songs. The last of these songs, I should say. What? A call to the wilds. Oh. Oh yeah. This is, again, quite laid back, but again, Maybe a little call, a little anthem. Feels like we want to announce something to the world here. It's maybe an honest song, actually. Will this win Vid Beer 2022? Who knows? So there you go, that was my reaction to all eight songs taking part at the Ukrainian national final tonight. I look forward to that final, and of course remember I will react to the winning song when it comes about. 
So, who is my favourite or what song is my favourite from this national final? But my favourite is undoubtedly Roxolana and Girls. Brilliant song. And if it wins, I think that would do fantastic for Ukraine at Eurovision. That's what I think. But what do you think? You know what you need to do? You need to let me know in the comments below. But until next time, my Eurovision loving friends, wherever you are, please remember that it's great to have you here. And remember to join in on the fun. Please join in on the fun. And Eurovision 365 is for every day, not just to me. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.